Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. Tonight we're going to be doing a frog pattern on this here lure, this little frog looking lure. And we're going to be using a uh, Folk Art Color Shift Green. We're going to be using uh, Metallic Amethyst which is a Deco Art color. And Pearl White for the base coats. So let's get on the base coats and get it done. <music> Mix this pearl white and thin it out. Be our first order of business. Just get it where we want it. It's running pretty good. So we're going to start off this little project here on this frog by coating it with pearl white and then we'll probably put three to five coats on it. And we're going to be shooting it with about 35 pounds of pressure for these first coats. And we'll be uh, we'll set the paint with the blow dryer between the coats. Okay, we got four coats of primer on it, and it's heat set. We're gonna jump out here and grab this color shift green, and we're gonna get it mixed up. reducer in there and the sides and the top will all be this color shift green and we'll cut our pressure back quite a bit when we start blowing this go down far enough that I just leave the belly white is what I'm after so let's heat set that and throw another coat on it right quick okay folks so we got this all heat set and uh, clean the brush out and we're ready to move on to our next color so we're gonna be using a uh, amethyst which is a deco art and it's a metallic purple so let's just jump out here and shake it up and get us a little bit and it ain't going to take much of this. Now we're going to get our purple paint mixed. We're going to have to cut our pressure back some more. So let's cut our pressure back. about 10 or 12 pounds of pressure right there that's about all we want we got a good even stream so we're going to come about halfway down this bait with our first one And we're going to heat set it and put another color. You already see it starting to swap colors. So. And 
darken up. green on the bottom and let's throw one more coat on that purple okay we're done with that color so we're just gonna get us a little bit of white in here it ain't gonna take much and we're just going to kind of start figuring out where we want some white at. And we're just going to spray it a little bit. There's some white there. And I think there should be some white right there. I'm going to flip it over. Some white lives right there. I'm going to put some white around this eye on this side. Just like that. Some white needs to live right there. Live right there. Live right there on the front of his nose. Okay. Well, that's step two. 1050 on this lure. Let's go ahead and let me get a brush for this first part because I'm going to a three colored frog back to our color shift green So we're just playing around with our paint here now and just letting the spots fall wherever they want to fall. I've got these in about every color you can imagine that I've painted. nose is going to be green and black just like that right there now we're going to get our wire and our black and we're going to jump in here and just start adding black where we okay folks we got this bait dried now we're going to pop the eyes on him and we're going to poxy him. <clears throat> so we're using these, these frog looking eyes here. Is what we're using. If I get him up on this toothpick here. Just lay him in there just like that right there. So we got the eyes on this. Now let's mix up some epoxy. And let's epoxy this thing. Put the eyes back up over here. Get us a cup over here. Get us a brush out. Get our epoxy. 
There we go. So let me pull that down. Hemostats. Go ahead and get them put on it and be ready to go. Just like that. So we're going to have uh, on this just this one little bait we'll have one cc of, of the clear. Then we're going to use one cc of the hardener. It won't take a whole lot to do this one little bait. So. up you want to kind of get it to setting you got to really stir this stuff and mix it very well no glitter folks just straight boxy on this one just get started here. Getting around in my eyes good and up in that little gill plate good on the side here. Now folks, to make sure that this thing uh, spits right when you're using it on top water, I take a little wire after I epoxy it and I clean these holes out. You see that coming out the side right there? I make sure those holes are good and cleaned out. Then we'll hook him up and put him on the rack to dry. folks can you see that bait how three that's going to be and tomorrow we'll come in and put hooks on him and uh, this bait will be available